executed civilian. Oh, good. That's a great way to start an area. Not void woken. Hi, Magister. I'll give you fair warning, stranger. Turn around and get out of here unless you want to end up like this treacherous filth. He throws a kick into the ribs of a nearby corpse. Glance at the nearby bodies and spit out that you heard magisters were killing innocent civilians. His name's Stanley. What? What? How? How'd you know that? Tell him that you know what he did to that woman. Now he's going to pay for it. Who are you talking to? Never mind. I'll see to them after I've dealt with you. Oh my. Um. Maybe I should talk to them first. Maybe I should talk to them first. And then we'll kill them all. Yeah. Okay. How would you rate, uh, which would you rate higher? Divinity OS2, Pillars of Eternity, or Pathfinder? Um, DOS2 is probably the best in terms of like overall quality and snarky entertainment. Um, Pathfinder is probably the best in terms of like epic high fantasy RPG adventure. And Pillars of Eternity is probably not, It's I'd say it's just under the other two, but Pillars of Eternity has a fantastic main quest and a very unique and fun kind of like all of its own skills and systems, which is cool. Yeah. But again, there are, if you like one of them, I think you'll like all of them. It's the kind of thing where they're all really high quality, great games. So, your fate, yeah. Pewee, by the way, I'm specifically talking about Pillars of Eternity 1. Pillars of Eternity 2, out of all four of those games, unfortunately, is probably the weakest. Yeah. Vidross says Pewee 2 is better. Uh, I disagree. I actually, I very much preferred the world characters and story of Pewee 1 over Pewee 2. Pewee 2 had much better mechanics. I like what and I liked I liked what Pewee 2 did outside of the characters and story, but it had the it had the most undeveloped world in my opinion. Um yeah. An executioner's blade hovers inches above a young woman's throat. The nearby magister drones a prayer with all the passion of a silent monk's empty gaze. The divine does not absolve a traitor of his grace. You've tended not to the sea. No, I haven't played Pewee 2 since the big update. Without updates. faith, it cannot flourish. We are, by the way, planning on doing another PoE2 run down the road. Uh, even though it is, out of those four games, even though I'd say it's probably the, the least best, it is still a really good RPG. So we, I am planning on doing another um, PoE2 run at some point. And I'm sorry, I need to say PoE Eternity 2. <laughs> We're not talking about Path of Exile. Call out to the Magisters, what is this woman's crime? He gives you a cool look and nods to a bloody corpse in Magister's garb. That's the welcome the Crossleys give to law-abiding Magisters. Sorcerers, though, they get bathed and fed. <laughs> Ain't that right, woman? The young woman squeezes her eyes shut in terror, but says nothing. The executioner raises his blade. Exclaim that he's performing an injustice. Ask if Lucian would approve this brutality. The Magister slides his finger along the shivering woman's cheek. Lucian did have a soft spot for a delicate thing like yourself. We've given the wolves and worms enough to feast on. Besides... He passes his gaze over the woman's remaining family, then to a corpse bleeding out nearby. A child's corpse. Dude. You'd prefer death to living with your fatal mistake. I trust you'll all remember your lost little boy the next time you think of defying the order. Make them pay for their disgusting show of force. So that's the way of it, is it? That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> that's all I needed to hear. We're done. All right. These guys are getting some special treatment.
Hi. I didn't just kill all these guys, did I? Okay, good, I didn't. That would have been very awkward. Jerks, chat. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> Almost amazing. Is his own worst enemy, right? Think of him. All right, suit all these dudes.
Go. No, where you? I swear to God, if you activate some other event. Okay. A spillage all over the floor. Hmm. A passage. Oh. Save it. Thank you, MRX Cole. Appreciate Please. that, buddy. Over here. Can you untie me? Please. Thank you. Her tear stained cheeks quiver as she surveys the blood spattered floorboards. It's like a bad nightmare. Except you never wake up. The young man grunts as he fruitlessly tries to... Thanks! He looks to his slain brother's body. His eyes well with tears, though none break free. Brewmeister Beige. No Clemson Tigers. Good to see you, bud. We didn't deserve this. We didn't deserve any of this. The grieving mother manages a thin smile, even as tears stream down her ruddy face. Thank you, stranger. She blinks out more tears, then rubs them away with the back of her hand and puts on the bravest Pyracide. That was a 20T2 bomb? Oh, dude. Nice. Nice. Wow. Um. Wow. Uh. One sec. Whoa, Boatman. Dude, what? Seriously? Okay, great. Huh. All right. To lose a child. It's a mother's worst fear. I never imagined. I'm glad to have freed you. She considers you for a moment, then releases a heart-rending sigh. It's true, you know. What the Magister said. My brother's boy, Gideon. He's got source in him. Now that his folks are gone, we've all he's got. We thought we could keep him safe. He's not got a spot of malice. He can't help who he is. But when the Magisters came snooping, he panicked. We all did. Mm. She glances at the Magister corpse and shivers. Another tear drips down her cheek. Shouldn't have let that Hanag woman near Gid. She said she could teach him. But that's when all the trouble started. Ooh, she's very courageous to be willing to sacrifice so much. Her mouth falls open, but she does not respond. Instead, she shakes and sobs. As soon as the Magister fell, Git knew what he'd done. He didn't even struggle when they dragged him away. Gods know where they took him. I've already lost more than I can bear today. I pray to the Seven I haven't lost him too. I'll look for Gwydion. You will? Oh, bless you. Bless you. She ekes out another thin smile. Make sure he's safe. And if you can, bring him back to me. Can we, we can revive this guy, right? Oh. God have mercy on us. That would have been kind of awesome if we could have done that. Oh, well. Hey, thanks for just did that anonymous gift bomb. Appreciate it. Uh, open. Yoink. Taking your gold. Oh my lord, there's a lot of stuff in here. How could they? Yoink. Um. Mostly just food, I think. Yeah. Oh. What's that, guys? Wow. Thank you, boat. <laughs> That's all I needed to see, buddy. Okay. For those wondering what I've been talking about in the last little bit, um, somebody who was a part of our community, um, basically took some of the stuff from the discord 
and thought he would be super cool and score a lot of points in other channels or a specific other channel by copying something from our discord posting it in theirs and then calling the post person from our community an autist and retarded and all sorts of just terrible things while making saying some really terrible things so of course here's the thing though people saw that and those screenshots made him to my mod team and now that guy is banned from every system that we have so just want to make it very clear um if 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 you are a complete asshole to people uh and we find out about it like you're gone uh like no oh, get him banned from discord oh he's banned from everything we're banning him from the channel too like that's that's just that's just that's that's just shitty don't be a dick period like be a good dude it's really not that hard and also keep in mind that sometimes people are watching even if you're not around those people and if you try to talk shit behind their back sometimes you're still going to get burnt so yeah um that is definitely somebody that we will not mind seeing uh removed from the community and also for the record calling somebody pepega autistic because of a, an opinion they have on a poe build means uh you should probably rethink your life a little bit that's that's kind of like wow that's just wow yeah yeah dicky ram says freedom of speech is so 1950s oh bro there's no freedom of speech in this channel this is a cotopia yeah we're king co rules and king co rules says you don't be a dick to people i don't care about your freedom of speech if you're a dick to people you will be banned from cotopia um that's how it works so yeah here here like we're all for good discussion we're all about having people have different opinions um we're all about you know disagreement and stuff like that that's totally cool but there's two ways you can disagree you can disagree and talk about it like adults and actually learn something from each other or you can just be a dick to each other and waste everyone's time and spread bad vibes so pick your poison <laughs> that's that's all that's all it takes How could they? people come to twitch to have a good time not to have to deal with that bs there's plenty of that in real life are you proud? Proud to stand in the way. Anyway, of that's it. I'm done. Proud Sorry. you'd allow Void Woken to raise Back the to the man. game. <laughs> proud of your wrongs. Um, unleash your anger. What could he know of justice? A crooked sneer surfaces from the spirit's deep pit of contempt. I know that justice starts with duty. I know that it starts with a code. <laughs> His sneer. It's a widens. Konami code. I know your type. You have no code. You blindly ricochet from one conflict to the next, stirring the pot while scolding the virtuous. You pretend to have honor, but you're a fraud. Turn your back on the raging spirit. Man, I kind of want to eat him, but we shouldn't. Can we? Oh, we can't see the boy, can we? Oh. All right, so we need to move very carefully through here. Let's let's go up here next, and we'll kind of like methodically work our way through this area. Hmm. Is that all honey? Ooh, it is. What is Amethyst Deceiver? Am I reading that right? I totally am. That's weird. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Weedos, how you doing today, bud? Eat the Magister? I kind of want to. We should actually, let me see what's in that pouch first. There was a pouch down here, wasn't there? Yeah, it's probably just a little bit of gold, but every bit counts. Dude, our telekinesis range is obscene. I need that IRL. <laughs> Shinichi, but Koi's gold! Gritzer, thank you for that five, uh, Sub bomb, my man. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Immunity to slowed. Oh, it doesn't really move around much, though. Hmm. I'd lose some crit, though. 
Oil slows? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't wanna I don't wanna lose these crits though. I mean that, that crit stuff really adds up. Uh Yeah. I think I'll sell it for now. So those are still pretty good though. Oh, no, like this is a caster team, so we don't really need to move around too much. And when we do, I mean we got all sorts of movement skills we can use. More slaughter. Killed by Void Woken. Hmm. Who were killed in turn themselves. Hey, Puck Brandon Gaming. Thanks a lot, buddy. I saw your cheer, and I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Appreciate you and Longwood Geek. Speaking of, of them, thanks again. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, boop. Mm -hmm. Springy, right back to you, my man. Yeah, honestly, I'll say this right now. Still to this day, the best Battlefield game ever made. Like, by far. Um, any, like, I, when they make Battlefield 2143, that's when I will make my big return to Battlefield. Like, that's, that's, that's what we need. We need Battlefield 2143. We need it well made, working, and, oh my god, dude, that'd be so good. Even if they just remastered 2142, I'd still think it's the best game. They don't even need to like change or add much. Just bring it to the current day and age and in the new engine and everything. Oh my God, that'd be so nice. Whew. Hmm, maybe one day. That's different. Sheet of paper on Co. We, we already know T is for troll. Oh, stealing the pictures right off your walls, because this is my life now. I'm going to go ahead and grab the eggs. <laughs> I appreciate that, Valero. Thanks, bud. Did you hear about the... Yes, I did, MMO Altaholic. Did you hear about the ex-Westwood devs making a new spiritual successor to CNC Renegade? I did. I did. Um, I, uh, I actually looked at it. There's a Steam page up for it. What was it called again? I, I unfortunately looked at the Steam page, and it looks... It, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it, it looked pretty unpolished. Um, yeah, it looked it looked kind of... Like, maybe it's just the development thing, but it looked pretty basic. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember what it was called. Does anyone remember the name? I think it's actually got a Steam page now. I think it's called, like, Earthbreak? Yeah, Earthbreakers. This is the game he's talking about. Uh, if you're interested, you can you can definitely check it out yourself. But basically, it's an RTS first-person shooter. So the premise is that there's a commander, and he's actually, like, building buildings and doing stuff, and then everyone else plays on foot and in vehicles, and... I'll, I'll probably be checking it out when it comes out. Yeah. Looks like it could be fun. I loved Renegade. I played the absolute hell out of Renegade, so... And it has some of the original devs making it. Yeah. Definitely make sure to follow it if you're interested. Let's talk to that dwarf before we go, too. Yeah, kind of natural selection. -y. Yeah, natural selection, I believe, was actually after CNC Renegade. I think I think natural selection takes some pretty big. Um, also, a game called Savage. If you ever played a game called Savage or Savage Two, uh, those those games are all kind of playing off each other. Stares despondently at her body and those of her loved ones. A word of the wise, friend: never help a sorcerer. They'll only bring death in their wake. Declare that you're a sorcerer and eat their face. Ask what happened. Was she eating a sorcerer? No, not me. It was my bloody neighbors. Soft darts and softer wits, a lot of them. I did the right thing. Let the magisters know what was going on. Oh. But when they came for him, he conjured up all these monsters. The magisters were too busy helping themselves to save me and my own. Murdering sorcerer filth. Scowl that you are a sorcerer. None of this would have happened if your kind weren't being persecuted. You're the same as the one who did this. Dragging monsters into our homes and taking none of the responsibility. Get away from me. Okay, Dick. The stench of dead void woken assails you. The thought occurs, sorcerers caused this. Turn if you want, I've done nothing wrong. Source may have caused this, but only Source can set it right. 
The magisters are blind like that. to its light. Yeah. Source can be used for good or ill. That's what the magisters need to learn. Oh, Noctra. See, I had not heard that. Great information to know, buddy. I'll pop that on the screen for those interested about Earthbreakers. Tyrants will dredge up any reason to Thank you. silence I didn't know people. that. Sure, Source isn't all good. But that don't mean you can change the world order to control it either. True, true. That's really unfortunate to hear also. I was, I was actually kind of really looking forward to like a polished new renegade. Hmm. Sucks. Have you ever played Grim Dawn? I've never played Grim Dawn all the way through. Mm -mm. One day. Okay, so that loops around to here. So this, this loop is now done. So let's move up to this area and see what's over there directly behind us. Go this way. Uh-oh. Are you mean? No, you're not. Can I talk to you? Uh-oh. I should go get more source on Ko, but... Damn, look at these dicks. Come out, sorcerer. No arm will come to you. When he comes out, lads. Oh, he you're going you. down. Then he breathes deeply through his nose, his tongue extended, as if he were tasting the air. Mm. Since when does rape hire mercenaries? Brush the question aside. With authority in your voice, ask him what's going on. The sorcerer is trapped in the cellar beneath the house. He's dropped one magister, but he won't drop another. We don't need you, Merc. Show him the... Uh, tell him the sorcerer is right here, hiding in the open. Now, why would you say that? Lean in close and point a thumb at yourself. I'm a sorcerer. He gives you a long look, unblinking, his breathing steady. His tongue protrudes from between his lips. He inhales deeply, then suddenly he reaches for his weapon and yells. Sorcerer. That was totally worth it. Ow. Uh-oh. We can get more uh, source after this fight. Hey, Captain Rizel. Uh, Hex the next. Subbing because your Subnautica playthrough is still my favorite of all time. Keep it up and can't wait for below zero. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that greatly. Thank you, thank you. Captain Rizel, I hope you're doing well, bud. Uh, when am I going to play VLR again? Probably as soon as this or Phoenix Point winds down, whichever comes first. Phoenix Point comes out in just a few days. We're going to be doing that in the mornings. Yep, yep, yep. 507, 709. Oh, 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 I can knock him down. Boop. From that guy's shield. Oh, damn. That's a nice little spot up there, isn't it? How dare you? Uh. Damn, three hundred one non crit. Beautiful. Uh, wait. Okay. Uh hurt. I'm ready. Rude. Why do you have armor? Never mind. Whatever. 
Uh... You just I didn't want to attack him. You rude. That didn't quite work out as planned. Okay, though. Ow! Damn, dude. Jeez. Quit it. Um, let's pop you. Fireball you. And poison. I think he's dead next turn. Uh, zap you. And zap him again. Rude, rude, and rude. Um, let's pop a healing on him. Healing up here as well. Thank you. Mm. Gotcha. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, nice. He still dropped some of his stuff. Great. Um, hmm. I don't think so. Why do you not teleport the enemies that have height advantage to lower ground so they don't get those bonuses? Because that would be an intelligent move that would make a lot of sense. Is the short answer. Um, here. Mm -hmm. What is my favorite way to play this game? Caster, melee, fizz, Ellie. I'm about to finish my first playthrough with a necro and I love it. I'm tempted to do it again on a tactician lone wolf, but I feel like maybe I should try a different style. Uh, a Big Fat Walrus, first of all, love the name. Second of all, um, I played this game actually in two different ways. I did a full playthrough as a basically full physical group. Had a lot of fun with that, it was really good. And this time I'm going through basically playing a full magic group, which is just as entertaining in its own way. So really the beautiful thing about this game is you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, and you'll generally be relatively okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Yes? Uh, sure. 